Welcome to the latest unboxing video from Meeples and Milkshakes Board Game Cafe. We got a big shipment in from Asmodee. Lots of Catan, lots of other fun games. Let's see what we have. First up, we have five to six player extensions for Catan and for Catan City and Knights, Cities and Knights. So if you already have Catan, and these expansion, or the Cities and Knights expansion, then you can play Catan and Cities and Knights with up to six players instead of just a, a four, which is a, what you get just with the base stuff. There we go. As promised, Catan now back in stock. It's been a while, so we're excited to finally be able to offer this again. The now famous uh, gateway game, modern game, one of the first games that sort of reinvigorated the board game industry into its fifth edition now, Catan. I believe we have 10 copies of this in now, so that should uh, hopefully last us a while or hopefully not. Here we have three copies of the Explorers and Pirates expansion for Catan. I have not played this, so sadly I can't uh, tell you much more. Uh, but it says it includes five novel scenarios, each of which builds upon your previous experience. So it sounds like a bit of a campaign mode, uh, although don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. This is a new product for me, but you do need Catan, of course, to play this. Looks pretty cool. And then we have one of uh, the coolest games I've played uh, since the pandemic started, Patchwork Doodle. Simple little roll and write game. Uh, if you've played Patchwork before, it'll be familiar. You're putting sort of tetromino shapes onto your sheet. You're drawing them in based on the roll of the dice and which pieces you, which cards you select. Uh, we've actually played this over... Um, over Google Hangouts and it worked really well. Uh, so this game plays up to six people, although I don't know why you really couldn't play more. Uh, and it's a very easy game to teach, plays only about 20 minutes, in about 20 minutes. And uh, kids can definitely enjoy this one too. And here's a very popular expansion, maybe the most popular expansion for Catan, Seafarers. And uh, we have a bunch of this in stock now. Some of these are already claimed uh, because it's so popular. People have been waiting for this to get restocked. There we go. Seafarers as well for Catan, now available. And here is the rest of the Catan and the rest of the Seafarers. So we have lots of both on hand. You guys have been asking for it, so we're bringing in as much as we can. And uh, this will be on the website very soon at meeples.ca, where we have a ton of games and a ton of puzzles and uh, bringing more stuff in all the time, as you can see. Here we have the Euro game, Lorenzo Il Magnifico. I have not played this yet, but we did also bring in a demo copy of this for the Board Game Cafe library. A game I've always wanted to play, so hopefully I can give this one a try sooner than later. That looks really cool. Lorenzo Il Magnifico. Beautiful art, that's for sure. Finally, we've been waiting for this game since we opened Love Letter by Z-Man Games. You can see it comes in a blister pack. I'm going to open this up and see what's inside. Some of these are already claimed, but we will have a number remaining. Like so, as a display at the store, and there is Seiji Kanai's Love Letter. comes in this 
a nice little bag that you use during the game or just in the store of the game. This is a very, very simple card game. There are cards numbered from one to eight, uh, multiples of some of them. You have a hand of cards. Like generally, you have, I think, if I remember correctly, one card in your hand, and then every turn you draw a card. You then have to choose one of the two cards to play. Uh, at the end of the round, you're trying to have the highest numbered card in hand, or you want to be the last one remaining. It's possible for people to get eliminated during the round through different card effects. Very, very fast game to teach and play. It says here it takes 20 minutes to play. That would be several rounds. You could, you know, cut it short if you were short of time. Uh, uh, kids can easily enjoy this. It says 10 plus, and I think that's about right. Plays up to six players. Uh, and this is the kind of game where you would easily want to play like two, three, four rounds of this back to back because it's just so easy, light and fun. And, uh, you know, at our game nights, that's generally what happens when we pull this out. We just keep playing it and playing it and playing it. So finally, Love Letter is back in, well, back in stock. It's in stock for the first time with us. That's exciting. Wow, this is a big box. The Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth, a board game of adventure and exploration for one to five players. So this does um, play solo. And it says there, requires free digital companion app. So what you're going to do with this game is you're going to download an app, maybe to your laptop or your tablet or your phone. And it's a free download. And as you can see, this game um, comes with a lot of stuff. That's why it's in such a big box. And it's a cooperative board game of fantasy and adventure. Uh, so there's a number of scenarios in this game. It's an immersive campaign featuring branching narratives, multiple side quests, procedural map generation system, and that's part of what, you know why you use the app, because it tells you how to arrange the map tiles for each scenario. Uh, so there's a ton of variety in this and a lot of stuff. I mean, it's a big, heavy box. We're really excited to get this in. And uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings, Journey, Journeys in Middle-Earth. We've restocked Arkham Horror, the card game, probably my favorite living card game from Fantasy Flight Games, also a cooperative game for one to four players. I typically play this at four players, but I'm kind of, uh, that's kind of uh, strange because well, I think most people play this at two players, uh, but you do need two copies of the game to play at four players effectively. Uh, but it's a really fun game. You build your own deck of cards uh, and you go through these narrative scenarios, um, which get harder and harder as you go along. And it takes a lot of uh, skill and planning to play this game properly and succeed through a scenario. Sometimes you'll fail the scenario and you'll have to try it again and you'll learn from your mistakes and you'll do it better next time. Uh, but either way, it's a heck of a lot of fun and a game that I've been playing, at least before the pandemic, was playing routinely and really enjoyed. There's a ton of expansion content for this, tons of scenario packs uh, that are available and those add to the fun. Next, a uh, game that is new to the store but not new to us the grizzled this is one of the best cooperative games uh it's an amazing game about world war one and a troop of uh comrades who you know had to fight uh, together and deal with the the war that they were in it's a rather depressing game to be quite honest but it's a lot of fun and it's a real experience it's a very difficult uh cooperative game um, you will probably lose most of the times you play, but um, even still, you'll just enjoy the experience. And, and especially if you get really close to winning, it's so satisfying. And when you finally do win, it'll be a very amazing triumphant moment for you. Um, this is a game where you're holding some cards. You're not allowed to talk about the cards you have with your uh, friends. You're trying to play these cards down to the table, but you don't want to get three of a kind in terms of of the uh, weather effects like snow and darkness or rain or the threats like gas masks, bullets, and whistles. Um, so you have to strategically play your cards uh, in order to survive the missions. There's also these hard knocks that make things harder. They add different effects uh, that you have to try to remove. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent game. Uh, one of uh, my favorite, honestly, uh, cooperative games. It's very easy to teach plays in about a half an hour. Um, little side note here, the art was actually done 
by a cartoonist from Charlie Hebdo in France. And sadly, he was murdered a few years back when uh, terrorists stormed Charlie Hebdo and um, murdered a bunch of people in their newsroom, including this artist, Tinus. He uh, sadly was one of the victims, uh, but um, his legacy lives on through the art of this game. Uh, and uh, yeah, not, you know, rather sad uh, little note there about this game, but we do have two copies and we're proud to have this available now for, for you to try out. All right, and finally, uh, Star Wars Outer Rim. This is a game I haven't played and sadly I can't really say too much about it, but it is a game for one to four players, so another game with a solitaire mode. Uh, it looks very cool and I believe it's been very well reviewed. So we brought a couple copies in. Um, maybe you could give it a try and let us know how it goes for you. Um, we don't yet have a copy for the cafe, but uh, if it's a good game, I'm sure we can bring it in for the cafe as well. That's Star Wars Outer Rim. And finally, we have a big box that contains play mats. And I believe these are Marvel Champions play mats. Let's see. Oh, they always pack these full of paper. There we go, because it keeps them in good condition by the time they get to us. Oh, sure enough. Marvel Champions play mats. So these are really nice. And one of them is a demo copy. This one is a demo copy for the cafe. So I'm going to open this right now so you can see how beautiful it is. So it's a one to four player game mat. These are pretty big. The four player play mats are pretty big. This has been out of stock for quite a while. And so it's great to have it in stock for the first time. There you go, there's, there's what it is. It's neoprene. It's got areas for all the different piles of cards and areas, a big play area for the cards that you're gonna be using during the game. It's actually gorgeous, lots of really nice art. And uh, yeah, so that's it. We have two uh, available. And of course we do have the game. Marvel Champions, the card game, is in stock, plus Scenario Packs and Hero Packs. There's Marvel, Thor, Captain America. There's more coming out in the future, but uh, these are the ones that are available right now. So this is a living card game. It plays one to four players. The box comes with a really nice insert for uh, storing all the cards that you get during, you know, collecting this game. And uh, yeah, it's a cooperative game and it's somewhat based on the system originally used by Lord of the Rings and later by Arkham Horror. And uh, it's been incredibly well received. It was runner up for Game of the Year with Board Game Geek for 2019 actually. And uh, we're really excited to finally have the playmat to go along with the game and the scenario packs and hero packs. So that's it for today's uh, shipment from Asmodee. Thank you Asmodee for getting that to us uh, quickly. And as always, um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like uh, and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll know right away when we have another video up. Uh, and um, we don't have any updates for you on the cafe yet, but we hope to, by the end of the month, have a big update for you. And uh, yeah, so until then, uh, stay safe and uh, have fun playing games. Don't forget, we have lots of puzzles and uh, games still at meeples.ca. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.